Everything is the same. Nothing is worthwhile. The world is senseless. Knowledge strangles. Nietzsche. I can't really tell you what this means in the context of my food blog, but I can tell you that I felt like adding it. Today we will be making sticky toffee pudding, a fantastic recipe crafted by my fiance. For this iftar special meal, we will start with making our toffee. We will need 3 quarter cups of sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, and one cup of butter. To which we will also add one cup of cream. Slowly add these ingredients into a pot. Do so in a fancy way with good lighting that looks perfect for the camera. Then start heating on medium high heat while stirring until the mixture starts to bubble as shown. The butter should melt in and the ingredients combine. It should take about 5 minutes to get to this point. At this point, turn the heat to low while continuing to stir. Turn off the heat when the color looks like this and the consistency is a little thicker. And that's it! Your toffee is done and you can set it aside. Next we will make our whipped cream, for which you will need you guessed it, another cup of cream. Place it in a mixing bowl and start mixing. It is easiest to do if the cream is cold. You don't have to make the cream if you don't want to, but I was told that you should if you want to be cool. And I want to be cool one day. While mixing, add in a half cup of powdered sugar for a little extra sweetness. Go in for a quality control tasting once the cream is whipped and you have soft peaks. For the batter, start by getting 190 grams of dates, or really, about 10 dates. Place the dates in a blender and add 1 teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and 1 teaspoon of baking soda. Pour the hot tea over the dates until they are just about covered. For this step, I used black tea, and I think that turns out best, but you can experiment with others if you like. I then blended these ingredients together until I got a soft and mushy, but not overly combined consistency. For the dry ingredients, we will cream half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, and six tablespoons of butter. Make sure that the butter is soft or this may prove to be a bit difficult. You can mix these together using just a whisk or you can try using an electric mixer like this one. Add a half teaspoon of vanilla once the mixture is a bit like wet sand, mix it together a little bit more, and that's all. Next, in order to smoothly combine your delicious butter and sugar, start by whisking in two eggs, one at a time. Surely, surely, this is the best part of this experience. Now, we need to add in the flour. Take one and one third cups of flour, add in a teaspoon of baking powder, and just a pinch of salt. Give this a nice mix. You can now begin folding your flour mixture in with your sugar, mixing in about half at a time. Continue to fold this in. Once it is loosely combined, you can proceed to add in your tea and date blend. Now, that may either sound delicious or awful depending on who you are. But if you made it this far, then I'm hoping that you actually like this. Continue to do the same thing, folding in about half at a time. Once your batter is done, add it to a lightly buttered pan. Place it in the center of a 390 degree oven for half an hour.
And once it's taken out, it should be nice and dense. And remember that toffee? Well, let your batter cool down and then you can just start pouring. Now all there is left to do is to plate. Add some more toffee, of course, and whipped cream. And then start eating. Now, this may be a bit messy, but that's fine. After all, this is sticky toffee pudding. Mmm, delicious. Sugar, check. Cream, check. Dates, check. Ready for a date? Double exclamation laughing emoji. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Subscribe.